Hello there. Alrighty then. Hi guys. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. For today, I just want to yeah share my thoughts and opinions uh, about uh, the upcoming Queen, our Queen, Raiden, Bao, Shogun, <laughs> whatever you want to call her. Okay, she's gonna be OP. And for me, I think, I believe she will be the F2P goddess. I mean, lit literally, she is a god. Okay, yeah, she's an archon. Alright, so yeah. So first of all, what I'm going to discuss, uh, please take it with a grain of salt. It's not, uh, this is just a theory or a, or a speculation. So, at the end of the day, you decide for yourself what you want to do with your account. Because it's your account. Alright, for Raiden Ball's weapon. So yeah, in theory, as what happened with other events before, she might get a free-to-play weapon with the event. It will be just like uh, with the previous events, like with Albedo Dragon Spine event, where you will get a free four-star really strong weapon which is the festering desire which a lot of people a lot of newbies uh, and other people who start late have missed out on so yeah yeah it will also be like similar to please uh, four star book uh, the dodo coattails if i believe if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong and as well uh, both weapons are can easily be refined to R5 uh, just like the festering desire just as long as if you complete the entire event and use the event currency to purchase refinements so yeah I think uh, Raiden Ball will have a free to play weapon and it can be easily be refined to rank 5 and again just please take this information or thoughts or theory or speculation as a grain of salt because yeah I am so excited to pull her at the start uh, before I wasn't really that hyped I mean I've already got Kazuha which is the most fun to play character in Genshin right now but that uh, we will see uh, if that still holds through if uh, when Raiden Ball comes out because most likely she will be an energy recharge goddess aside from the F2P goddess because uh, that's her playstyle she scales off energy recharge yeah her energy recharge is 80 which is one of the balances the developers have to implement so they made her energy recharge 80 to be less OP but with the right build that 80 energy recharge will be nothing and and most likely so just theory and speculations uh, she will have abilities that will help her gain energy faster and the uh, free event 4 star spear will also have an energy recharge capabilities so it's been uh, theorized wink wink that the free event 4 star weapon will be similar to her 5 star gotcha weapon in the weapons banner when she comes out but uh, the only difference will be the 5 star weapon will be a lot stronger and it will have better abilities while the 4 star free weapon, free event weapon is still good because it will be free to play so uh, we don't need to risk our money on the useless uh, weapon banner and waste hundreds of dollars 
and thousands of hard-earned primo gems not getting what we want because uh, let's be honest the uh, weapon banner is a scam so yeah if only if it were just a 50 50 and then you will get the weapon that you want it would have been fine more uh, it would have been fine more people would be pulling on the weapon banner but uh, mihoyu understands that uh, most of the power of uh, the character the five star character will come from the weapon so yeah so and uh, yeah most of their revenue maybe are coming from the weapon banner so that's why they won't make it easier for us to get the five star weapon but no worries uh, we will be getting an awesome free to play weapon most likely again screen of salt theory most likely we'll get a free weapon with the event that's already pretty good and we don't really need uh, that much damage to clear abyss we don't need millions of damage to clear spiral abyss because currently I'm using a uh, free to play Kazuha with I'm maining Kazuha right now and his weapon of choice for me is the sacrificial sword which is energy recharge and the skill uh, refresh so yeah so I think uh, on the next version we'll be leading to uh, energy recharge meta and uh, I just coincidentally came across it and I appreciated the energy recharge build with my Kazuha and Kazuha is fun because he can keep spamming his E skill more often it's really cool to watch with the sacrificial prop yeah so maybe I will, I will be farming the energy recharge gear for uh, Radiant Ball and I will try it also on my Kazuha well anyway yeah hope you guys as well are excited with Radiant Ball and yeah Thank you so much for watching. If you are pulling for her, comment down below. Are you also praising the queen? Anything you want to talk about Genshin? If you have questions, just comment down below. I will reply when I have time. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.